Okay, this is my new machine. It's a linear, gen linear generator and uh, yeah, you'll see it running in a couple of seconds, minutes. First, you, we have this plexiglass tube. In there, there are magnets. There is a black uh, form. You can hardly see it now. You will see it later when it's jumping. It's holding magnets. Now, here is an example of the magnets. We also always have two of these magnets. Then I have the size of two a steel, some steel, and then two magnets again and again. So we get the uh, flux going outside, outside of the tube, and it should go through the coils. Now I'm testing here some coils. Ah, yes, and there are counter magnets down here. So this run coil here, that's the blue coil, shoots it up and it comes down again by its own weight. Now this uh, tube with the magnets in it is half a kilo, that's about one pound. So it'll, it'll be shot up, up to here, just about up to here, then it falls down again. Now what I'm going to do later, I'm doing some latching relays. And of course you get a lens effect and it won't shoot it up so high if it generates and the generating uh, electricity is used. So what I'm going to do is with latching relays it will not generate when it's shot up but when it falls down the half a kilo we don't care if it slows down as long as it generates and then it will be shot up again. Now uh, we have these two coils beneath the run coil. They're wound in 0.4 millimeter and are in series. Here the black ones are 0.6 and also in series. Uh, the run coil is 0.6. These are 7 ohms each. These are 35 ohms and this one is 3.3 ohms by filer and it is hooked up to a circuit you can see here it's a Bedini type circuit and we have amp meter and voltmeter here where con we can control it here just the voltage that's the run battery and we have two uh, uh, the two sets, sets of coils are here with a little cap and a uh, bridge rectifier and here two measuring, uh, two measuring units. Well, that's about it. Now I can run it to start it. It's not that easy because the tube is too long. I will shorten the tube and get it to the length I need once I've finished. So I go within with a stick. I push the stick down, and now it's starting to bounce. You can see the back EMF. Yes, we will have some back EMF. You can see the neon glowing. And here you can see the magnets shooting up and down. And it, don't forget, what's shooting up is half a pound. Uh, no, it's one complete pound. It's half a kilo. 498 grams and it's falling down again. Now we are consuming let me see yeah let's say peak is 400 milliamps and we are just around 1250 volts but what is interesting is the generation. Now the uh, the point four, two coils in series are generating 50, 51 volts. The caps are going up very slowly now. And the others are around 40, 41 volts. 
So, or is that 418? No, that's 42. No, we're at 42, yes. I gotta f get a better lighting because, okay, anyway, 41, 42, it doesn't matter. What's interesting is this thing shooting up. So I have room for two more coils. I would say I put two up here and one down here. And one down here. This here is a second plexiglass tube that's over the first one to keep a distance here. Because otherwise uh, we have a transformer effect. I don't want yet. Uh, because it's uh, the back AMF that is, yes, it's mixing with the back AMF and I've got to get that under control. I want to get the rest done first before I play around with that. So that's why also I left the tube longer so I can play around. Well, yeah, that's it for the moment. So the printer is working on one of these coils takes one and a half hours to print. But yes, it's worth it to have the four centimeter uh, diameter. Yeah, well, I guess uh, this here beneath, that's just a piece of wood in the tube because I was going to uh, start with the magnets down here and have them shoot up in here only. But then, uh, I'm not as flexible with the coils. I can do that once it's all configured and finished. Yeah. It's nice jumping. Yeah. Okay, let's see if we can follow it a bit. Zoom in a bit. Just to have a... F yeah. And there, of course, there are counter magnets down there uh, to allow it to, like a spring, to jump up again and then be accelerated by the coil. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching.